عسلا من الشكر مرحبا بكم مرة أخرى في شين يوتيوب الفيا أكاديمي القناة التعليمية الخاصة بتلاميذ الإعدادي والثانوي تنجموا زادة تزورونا على البلاتفورم باش تطلعوا على أكثر تمارين ملخصات المرفقة بالإصلاح لجميع السنوات وجميع المواد درسنا اليوم في اللغة الإنجليزية بعنوان The Past Perfect Dance باش يكون موجه لتلميذ السنة الثانية وثالثة ثانوي So in this lesson we're going to learn when to use it how to use it we're talking here of course about the past perfect we're going also to see some examples and we're going to finish with an exercise so let's begin with the form. Now, the form how to make the past perfect tense. So it is formed with the auxiliary verb had plus past participle. So what is past participle? Regular verbs and irregular verbs. للأفعال regular and irregular verbs إذا كان تكون مش حاضينهم نجمو تخدموا حد شي في اللانجوج so the regular verbs الأنزين متاحهم تكون with ed like the verb to work in past and past participle متاحهم هو worked زدنا في اللخر ed also the verb travel try, talk الكلهم regular verbs يوفي في اللخر بالED في past and past participle now for the irregular verbs the form changes ما نزيدوش ED لكن الفورم متاع الفعل تتبدل كيما verb to be الباسي متاع was past participle be verb to go gone to make made to sing sung so you should learn these verbs by heart so here are some examples i had gone they had played so لهنا ديما هاد شفنا في present perfect نستعملو have or has has مع he, she, it و has مع I, you, they and we بالنسبة لل past perfect has مع ال pronouns الكل so let's move on to the uses of the past perfect now when to use the past perfect tense first we use the past perfect to make it clear that an action was completed before another action in the past. So, Hanna, two actions in the past. Let's see here, Ma Salam Zamani. Two action in the past. First action that is completed. Umbad, Hanna, Fal Akhar, Fil Past. So the first verb اللي جيلو لاني هو اللي نحطوه في الباست بارفكت الفعل اللي مبعد هو يتحط في السيمبل باست Let's see some examples The doorbell rang at last I had been in the room since breakfast So the meaning here the bell rang at noon I came in the morning before that another example when i arrived there sarah had already left so the second verb here is the verb that comes first so sarah mshit bal ma energy so this is the first action. And the first sentence, 
الفعل هو الثاني لكن في ترتيب الأحداث هو الأول so, الفعل الثاني نحطوه في past perfect tense and the first one in the past simple another example I was so hungry I had not eaten anything since the morning so uh, it was late at night donc هو يحكي على روحه في الليل I was so hungry علاش خاطره مكلي حد شيء منذ الصباح again the second verb came first so we put it in the past perfect tense another use of the past perfect tense Something that started in the past and continued up to another action or time in the past. The past perfect tells us how long, just like the present perfect, but this time the action continues up to a point in the past rather than the present. So, shufna qbal fil present perfect tense. Uh, نجمو ترجعو للشيء اللي تشوفو نتاعنا و تشوفو uh, فيديو ال present perfect tense شوفنا وقتاش نستعملو ال present perfect كي يبدا عندنا فعل بدا من الماضي و قعد يمشي لحدث هذاكا حتى كشي لجي حدث اخر في ال present دونك فعل مستمر من الماضي حتى كشي للحاضر It is the same thing with the past perfect tense, just in the context of the past. حدث في الباس بدا و بقى متواصل حتى كشي عرضو حدث آخر في الباس. So let's continue. Usually we use for plus time. We can also use the past perfect continuous here. So we most often use the past perfect simple with stative verbs. What is, uh, uh, what is the past perfect continuous? Uh, well, we use it. The auxiliary had plus been plus verb in the ing form. So let's see an example. Let's see an example. Let's see an video on the present perfect continuous and the past perfect continuous. So, let's see an example here. The meeting had already started by the time I arrived. So, the meeting started at 8. I arrived at 8.50. So, the meeting started and continued. So, the action is in progress here it didn't stop so شوفنا الريزن هو لليوز نتاع الباست بيرفكت هو حدث دي و في بيفور انذر اكشن ان ذا باست سكند ان اكشن ستارتد اند كونتينيود اب تو انذر اكشن More examples. When he graduated, he had been in London for six years. On the 20th of July, I had worked here for three months. Now, another reason for using the past perfect tense To talk about unreal or imaginary things in the past. In the same way that we use the past simple to talk about unreal or imaginary things in the present. We use the past perfect to talk about unreal things in the past. This coming in the third conditional and after which. So here the third conditional to fulfill that. The troisième année will back. Let's see an example. If I had known you, 
if I had known you were ill, I would have visit, visited you. So, this is an imaginary uh, situation. It is unreal. So, if I had known you were ill, if I had known you were ill, I would have visited the situation uh, is unreal. So now we use the past perfect tense. Let's move on. Now, how to make sentences now? Kifishness namlu. The past perfect fi jumla. Behlehne anna. Tlitha anwe amna jumal. Positive sentence or affirmative sentences. Negative sentences and Questions. Starting with positive sentences, we use subject plus had plus past participle. Example We had finished our homework. So here, the subject we had finished had plus past participle. We had finished our homework. Negative sentences. To make negative statements in the past perfect, we use had not plus past participle. So here, uh, let's see the first example. We had finished our homework. Given have we do in the negative form, we say we hadn't, we had not, or hadn't, we hadn't finished. So in negation, a jeep had had. Nick hadn't attended our meeting, so we discussed everything without him. I hadn't read the play before, before I went to the theater to see it. They were so excited, they hadn't danced together since 2014. Now, Question 4. To make questions in the past perfect, we put had before the subject and add the past participle form of the verb. Examples. Had they arrived in New York before it got dark? Donc, the positive statement, we say they had arrived. So, we'll had uh, in the beginning of the sentence. Had they arrived? Second example. You looked pale. Had anybody scared you? Had anybody scared you? Behlehne, the noaya mtaal question. From an away or tar questions, it leads to the, the WH questions. So, WH questions are questions that require more information in their answers. They are made using WH words such as what, where, when, why, wish, who. How, how many, and how much. Now, to make WH question, use the same word, order, as with yes, no questions, but put a WH word before the verb had. The structure is WH word plus had plus subject plus past participle. So, نخلي الفورم نتاع الكويشن اللي شفناها الاول اللي هي الهاد uh, at the beginning لكن في ال WH question يبدا عنا WH question word نحطوها هي من الاول ومن بعد نكملو الجملة نتاعنا example how had he washed the clothes before the light went off so لهنا اذا كان جات ما عندناش WH word لهنا The sentence begins with had 
she washed يبدأ عنا WH word ديما يجي ملول second example why had Roy gone to America how much had she studied before the exam how many cups of coffee had he drunk before the interview okay now let's finish with an exercise let's practice لهنيت نجمو يو كان بوز دو فيديو تخدمو بوحدكم اكزرسيس صغرو ما في حتى شيء ومن بعد ترجعو نشوف مع بعضنا الاصلاح سو كومبليت ذا فولوين سنتنسز ان ذا باست بيرفكت سيمبل تانس لهني نركزو على السيمبل خاطر فما موجود البيرفكت كونتينيوس شي ذا فيرب تو رايت سكس ليترز بيفور شي جوت A response. لهنا جملة عادية جست مش نأخذ الأفعال ونودونه في past perfect. Again, كيفش نعمله the past perfect؟ عنا auxiliary had. نزيدوها the past participle of the main verb. The main verb هو اللي محدود between brackets. So لهنا she had written. Second uh, sentence, it's always to snow here before 1978. So, it had always snowed. Third sentence, verb to be done had been sick. For three days before he got better. Next, Lee and Susan to try four times before they gave up. Lee and Susan had tried. Next, my father's old car, verb to run, had run. Of course, لهنا run, the uh, verb to run, the past ran with a, the past participle run, كيما the base for, had run. Sentence number six. We, لهنا عنا not, so it is uh, in the negative form, verb to take the test before. So, we had not or hadn't. We had not taken. We had not taken the test before. Next, my uncle to visit. My uncle had visited China several times in the past, so this visit was nothing new. Last sentence, our father that drive to California. Our father had never driven. So, past participle of the verb why is driven. Again, the same concept. Do them, irregular verbs. You should learn them by heart. Mafamish hata possibility okra illa al hazard. Mafamish alish, mafamishi rule, bish tvasrilkum alish al fa'al ilay, regular or irregular. Just after all. So this is the end of our lesson. Shalat kun nafuma wadha. If you can ask them a question, we can ask them on the page on the Facebook. We can ask them also on the platform. We can see the past tense. We can see the past tense. If you can enjoy the video, don't forget to like and share with your friends. And see you next time.